In Jane Taylor's The Star, who is the speaker talking to? In this lesson, you will learn to answer a question about a poem by looking for clues within the text. Let's review. We're doing a close reading of The Star by Jane Taylor. We've read it once, so we know it's a poem. To find the answer to the question about the poem, first, we'll reread the question and think about what kinds of clues might help answer it. Second, we'll underline words in the text that are clues to answering the question. Third, we'll reread, paying special attention to the underlined words, and ask ourselves, how does this information help me answer the question? Who is the speaker talking to? Now that we've reread the question, we'll think about what kinds of clues might help answer it. Well, when you listen to people talk, how do you know who they're talking to? We might hear a name. For example, if someone says, Hi Beth, I know the speaker is talking to Beth. What other clues might help us understand who someone is talking to? The speaker might describe the person. For example, if someone says, You're a great teacher. I know the speaker is talking to a teacher. So now I'm going to look in the poem for a name or words that describe who the speaker is talking to. Now that we've reread the question and thought about clues to look for, we'll underline clue words in the text. Remember, we're looking for clues that name or describe who the speaker is talking to. Let's start at the beginning, the first stanza. When I read, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. I don't see anyone's name, but I do see the word you, and that shows the speaker is talking to someone. I'm going to keep looking for clues in the second stanza. Again, in this part of the poem, I don't see names, but I do see you and your. Are there any words that might describe whoever you is? In the beginning, right before the line with the word you, I see the words little star. In the second stanza, after you and your, I see the words little light. So I've underlined those words because they might be clues. Now to find out who the speaker is talking to, we're going to reread, paying special attention to the underlined words, and then ask, how does this information help me answer the question? Or, what can I learn from these clues? Well, when you reread these stanzas and think about the underlined words, who do you think the speaker is talking to? Since there's no names and the descriptions are words like little star and little light, I'm starting to think that the speaker in the poem isn't really talking to another person. If the speaker isn't talking to another person, what is she talking to? The speaker is talking to a star. When the speaker says you, she means a little star with a little light. Let's review the steps we took. First, we reread the question and thought about what kinds of clues might help answer it. Second, we underlined words in the text that were clues to answering the question. Third, we reread the text paying special attention to the underlined words, and then asked ourselves, how does this information help me answer the question? In this lesson, you have learned to answer a question about a poem by looking for clues within the text.